So, um, regardless of what we've uh, talked about so far, Hytale um, modding specifically, there are four different pillars of content categories. There are server plugins. This is our Java, right? This is extend the functionality of server programmatically. So this is where you need Java for. This is going to be extremely powerful, allows deep modification to the gameplay experience and core server systems. I like this. And you can also build mini games, economies, commands, custom logic, new asset types, and more. So this is going to be the well basically program then we have data assets this is going to be our json files we know this from minecraft modding right this is going to be blocks items npcs in this case also so this has gameplay behavior built in then we got art assets this should be i mean this makes a lot of sense right models sounds textures using block bench in this case for the um for the models and textures and animations really freaking cool i like this and lastly here save files this is going to be worlds and prefabs so this would be for um for the builders right i think that's pretty neat and i think they are they're like long term as they say right here their long term view is visual scripting i think that's totally fine i don't i don't mind it and as you can see programmers are more productive when they stay in a programming language and expose high level nodes so basically, the idea is that you can probably still go into the nodes themselves and, and, and you know, basically write their, your own code in there. So this is visual scripting. Basically, you can program completely normally, but you can see it's, it's like you have like functions, custom events, and then you have an element over here. You have a branch, right? Like you have a specific condition right here. If this is true, then you do something. So this is visual uh, scripting. Like I said, personally, not my thing because I just like my program code like this, right? I write, like it written down, but that's just because that's how I learned it. I know a lot of people really like and are really efficient with visual scripting. And I think that that's awesome. And I think the fact that they want to go that route is not a bad thing. Now, one tool that they already have available, basically uh, day one, this is the assets editor right here. And you can see there's all sorts of different things that we can add, but this is really cool. So basically they're they're changing the properties of this, um, of this art right here. It, this seems really in depth and I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Then of course, Blockbench plugin for the 3D models, which by the way, I mean, Jesus, right? Like how the heck, man, do not look up the 3D models that I make. Okay. Cause that is crazy stuff to me. Okay. This is crazy stuff to me here. They already have some nodes apparently. So this is already some, I've, I've actually not seen this biome generation. Ayo, excuse me. Yes, please. Now in the very beginning, they will not have the source code released for the server. This is likely going to happen one or two months after the release, but it is not obfuscated. So you can decompile it theoretically because the first, I think the first step they want to do is they want to make it so that you can, um, you are going to be able to use the, well, the, basically the tools given right here for this. I think that that's totally fine. I am super excited for this. This is going to be so damn cool. It's going to be so damn cool. There's 100% going to be uh, a tutorial series on this. I'm kind of hyped for, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. It's just so cool. 